All right, y'all, y'all got to excuse me, man. I just got out the shower. My shit, my shit's still wet, but it's so hot, I'm letting it stay like that. I don't give a damn. So excuse me. Excuse me, but we rocking. Here we go. Hold up. See? Because y'all think a nigga playing today. Y'all think a nigga playing today. <laughs> I ain't forgot about y'all hoes. I ain't forgot about y'all hoes. Yeah. 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 I ain't forgot about y'all bitches. Y'all always think somebody playing with y'all. Ain't nobody playing with y'all bitches. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait a minute. Let me switch my shit. Tony, what's up, bruh? What's up, bruh? Hold on, let me switch the, let me switch my uh pin comment. Hold on, let me let y'all know what y'all think about this. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. Hold up. Y'all know how I do. Two intro songs and then we jump on a nigga head. All right, now I just wash my shit like I said, so I got my towel in case my fucking hair get to dripping everywhere. So y'all got to thug with me real quick. But y'all know how I do. Two intro songs, then we going crazy, so I'm letting y'all know now. It's levels to this shift four, all right? It's, it's dropping this Sunday, all right? The link to my SoundCloud, my that piff, all, all my uh, digital platforms. I mean, all digital platforms which contain all of my music is in my bio. Go click the link. And with that being said, okay, we're going to start with two. Wait a minute. Hold on. This ain't no live if I ain't got my... Where, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. I'm in violation. Where my goddamn chat? Oh, okay. Okay. See, I done left my chapstick in the other room and I'm not going to get it. So we're going to just, we're going to, have to just rock today. But with that being said, I got my water. Okay, I got my water. Got my water. Got my water. So we one for one. Fuck it. Uh, I mean, we one for two. Fuck it. Now, um, it's levels to this shift four dropping this Sunday on the seventh. Ah, right, you do not want to. You do not want to miss this shit. You do not want to miss this shit. All right. You do not want to miss this shit. Now listen, I'm I'm doc I'm doing a documentary on this motherfucker. Okay. So I listen. If y'all think I don't got eyes everywhere, I, I keep eyes everywhere, dog. I didn't drug this nigga across the internet. Now the last video I did on this nigga months ago, if you remember, I said, nigga, I already killed you. I'm not gonna say shit to your ass, okay? Until you until you finally go to jail, and then I'ma go live and I'ma laugh at your bitch ass. And so I'm shooting a documentary on this nigga from start to finish, and y'all know I'm coming with all the motherfucking receipts, so don't worry. So Nature Boy ass is finna get slayed, and then after I slay Nature Boy ass, I'm slaying Brother Polite. So we doing a Nature Boy exposed documentary now, then we doing a Brother Polite exposed documentary next. So if Brother Polite scammed you and you got the receipts, everybody start to email me now. I'm gonna give y'all like 60 days, damn near. To email me everything. And I'm going to literally sit there and add up all of y'all motherfucking receipts. I'm going to put all of y'all facts together and all of y'all complaints together. And in the motherfucking documentary, I'm going to show the people how much money this nigga has scamped the community out of. Because when I tell y'all this nigga has scamped for damn near a million, I mean for, for over a million dollars since 2012 to today, y'all think I be lying. So I'm going to add these bitches up and I'm going down the motherfucking list and I'm doing documentaries on all you bitch ass niggas. Let's rock. And so the nature of Islam is in the grave. Nature boy ass finna go in the grave. And then brother polite ass, he already put him in the grave and I'm finna dig him up and kill him again. And so that being said, we rotting. So without further ado, I'm about to play two random tracks. Off my new upcoming mixtape, it's levels to this shift for. If y'all feeling this mixtape, go look for it on iTunes and all of that. Uh, come the seventh, it's dropping and we rocking. And so that being said, uh, this joint right here called Therapy. This off my upcoming mixtape. Then I'm gonna pick another one. Then we then we jump it right in. Let's go. Let's go. No games. No games. 
I'm also throwing a party bus in Buffalo. All right, the end of August, if you want to come and you're serious, all right, hit me up. I'm making a guest list now.
pistol everywhere I went, I had that pistol on me. Wait, funerals with family had that pistol on me. Every time I hugged my grandma, I had that pistol on me. My last relationship had been some segments. My ex cheated with an op and got pregnant. And if this all in God's plan, why he forsaken? And I took loss at the loss, it came to late. Huh? And I ain't gonna stand up late night, just paying for better days, huh? And all that hope turned into hate. For the Lord for never making my days better, let's go. Hey, I remember feeling that pain when I would have died. Wishing I would have had it on and shoot back. Look me in my eyes, you can't relate to me. Hey, we should know my downfall, they pray I'm slaughtered. I love my son, I pray I get to raise my daughter. I know they want to see me shot down, bleeding. I know they want to see me broke down, bleeding. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Listen, 2019, I'm taking off on y'all hating ass niggas. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna show y'all how to do this conscious shit on the on the on the right platform. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now listen, let's eat this nigga. <laughs> Woo! This is my favorite part of the night. Now listen, we got the receipts that's gonna bring your nigga his defeat. Okay? Shout out to Ashe Divine, you heard. Shout out to my, shout out to my motherfucking, my great, my great sis. We finna rock y'all motherfucking worlds with this motherfucking documentary. Now I know y'all want me to drag this nigga and wapty wapty wap. Listen, I'm I'm on the I'm on the upper echelon right now. I'm on my motherfucking black youngster. She remember when black youngster was like, I, I can't hang with you no more. Uh, uh, I can't be around you no more. Ho, that's how I feel. I'm not. Listen. I'm doing documentaries on niggas, and I'm leaving it at that. I'm doing documentaries on niggas, and I'm leaving it at that. I'm not about to be video battling, none of that. I'm going to get all of my receipts, and I'm about to compile them bitches, and I'm knocking niggas off one by motherfucking one. I don't give a fuck how you feel. I don't give a fuck who you like. Nigga, if your name come up in a documentary, it's basically a countdown. Y'all know how we rock it. So the documentary, okay, I'm I'm going to try to get it out by early October, okay? That's going to give y'all enough time to enjoy y'all summer, okay? Because I know y'all y'all ain't y'all want to enjoy the sun good. You deserve it. Especially if you're on the East Coast like us and you're susceptible to that winter, you want to enjoy your summer. So I'm going to let y'all run around for the summer, whoop de whoop by the time September come and, and people return back to these public schools, good, because I'm going to be returning your ass right back to this school of thought, all right? To this conscious school of thought, and we cracking niggas' heads. Early October, be expecting it. Nature Boy Exposed, cult car surviving cult carbonation, okay? Let's rock, right? Let's rock. Now listen, before I even run through these, run through these little videos real quick, and break this shit down. Oh, shit, I almost forgot one video. Let me pull it up. I almost forgot one. Hold on, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up where where, uh, where, where silly-ass Ileana asked, uh, whatchamacallit, Nature Boy, where, where Nature Boy admitted <laughs> to what he did on camera. Okay? This nigga, listen, I got so many receipts on this nigga. I sure got so many receipts on this nigga. It's pitiful at this point in time. But long story short, we cracking this nigga head. So I'm not going to go too high right now because I'm going to put it in a documentary. So y'all want to know what he, what, and everything that y'all want to know about this situation right now, as I already told y'all, everything that I said months ago is literally happening right now. Everything that y'all want to know is going to be in the documentary plus more. Okay? So that's how I'm rocking from now on. I'm documenting niggas out of this bitch. I'm documenting niggas whole careers away. Okay? Y'all seen how I just did the NOI straight receipts? Nigga, you fit you already know. No. You should already know how I'm about to do this nigga. I'm finna crack every last one of them niggas heads over there with receipts to bring these niggas defeat. So that's how we rocking, dog. I'm on the hold. Let's go. We got we doing documentaries on niggas and keeping it pushing and keeping it teaching. So don't worry, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm in my bag, all right? I've been trying. I got a title fight coming up in August. Nigga been trying. Nigga been doing what he got to do. So I'm, I'm never gone. I'm just in I'm just in different fields and different aspects of myself. Now, that being said, let me go here on y'all. 
Let me go here on y'all real quick. Let me go here on y'all real quick. Because it's about to get ill. For real. Hold on. Which one I want to play first? Okay, let me give y'all the narrative, okay? Months ago, I told y'all, just as I Shea Divine brought to the table first years ago. So she told y'all years ago, I told y'all months ago, that this nigga Nature Boy was making people drink his semen, saying that it was information. Okay? Okay? Let me repeat that. He was ejaculating, okay? And saying that, <laughs> listen, the nigga was ejaculating and making people drink his semen underneath the guise of that shit being information, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going I'm to do y'all one favor, okay? Because I got a, um, I got a video right here of a, of a, of somebody who was a, uh, who was affiliated with him, you know, and now that he's in jail, now that, hold on, now that he's in jail, okay, they not afraid to come out. So they came out and confirmed everything that we've been saying, okay? So this nigga was making everybody drink his semen, talking about it was a download, okay? But that's not that's that's for tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we gonna have a we gonna have a we gonna run through this nigga, okay? Tonight I'ma just get y'all the prequel, okay? Before y'all get the sequel. Now, tonight we gonna talk about why this nigga went to jail, so that it's not no discrepancy. I'm tired of motherfuckers keep talking about the nigga went to jail behind YouTube trolls. No, the fuck that nigga did not. Okay, that nigga did something to his to his child. That the neighbors seen, and it was so heinous, okay, that they had to call the motherfucking police. Now, like I said, I got a documentary coming out on this nigga. Y'all gonna have to wait to that documentary for them hard, hard body facts. But let me go get my receipt, okay, on what the motherfucker, what the neighbors say that they say that say that they think this nigga do. So let me read down the receipt. Y'all not getting a receipt yet. Watch the documentary, okay? One. The neighbors said they saw him do something sexual with the baby. Okay? that's Now, I don't know if that's true. I wasn't there. That's what the neighbors said. Okay? Two. The neighbors say that they saw Nature Boy groping Velvet. Okay? From the distance. From a distance. And since her hair was short and she's so skinny, it looked it like he was doing something with a little boy. A teenage boy. So, for one... The neighbors thought that he was running a sex cult and that he was having sex with a little boy, okay? Apparently, but it was velvet. And then for two, they say that they see him doing something sexual with his daughter, okay? They also say that they saw him doing something non-sexual but irresponsible with the baby, uh, tossing her back and forth uh, in a dangerous manner, okay? Uh, the neighbors also reported that they saw velvet pass the baby from one breast, I mean from one woman's breast to another woman's breast, being Aya and the rest of them females over there, okay? And then the police said that they saw Nature Boy doing something, I mean, uh, they saw c Carbonation doing something slick in the van, like they was trying to hide something when they arrested Nature Boy at. So I'm reading this shit right now, it's in phrase, right, I'm reading this shit, okay? Now, like I said, wait for the documentary, dog. I'm trying to keep this shit neutral because I'm y'all know how I do I'ma wait for the documentary to get the wang 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 it on niggas. But long story short, okay, let's play some video evidence really quick. Okay? Let's play some uh video evidence. And also I wanna let y'all know that uh that was not the normal motherfucking police. Okay? That was not the normal motherfucking police. Let me show y'all something. See? See? Let me show y'all something. 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 See, that was not normal. That was not a normal police procedure. Okay? When they came with them choppers, they was, ex they was uh, expecting heavy resistance. Okay? They was ready to lay a nigga down. They came... To arrest that motherfucker. Okay? Now what y'all don't know is that they arrested several several other cult members in the area as well. So this nigga got caught up in a suite, in a cult member suite. 
So all of the shit he was doing, all of the running that he was doing, okay? This nigga so stupid. This nigga then ran in nigga, Nicaragua trying to do this goddamn coke shit he was doing in the middle of them doing the sweep. So I'm pretty sure they got a call that a known coke member was in their area and they just yapped his dumb ass on top of the fact that he was getting calls for the pedophilic shit he was doing. So I'm trying to keep this shit low key. We're going to have all the receipts for y'all in the documentary, all of the facts like we do. Me and Ashe Divine, so do not motherfucking, you know, don't even worry about it. So with that being said, I just want to let y'all know when they came with them choppers, they wasn't coming to play with nobody. They was, they was, they was wishing a nigga would. Okay? They came to get that nigga and they wasn't leaving without that nigga. Okay? Now, once again, like I said, niggas talk that tough Tony shit. All that tough Tony shit leave when Tony really show up. Okay? And so, all that, I'm going to die before I go to jail. If the feds come to get me, why, why, why? Nigga, the feds came to get you and you took your bitch ass to jail. Straight the fuck up. Okay? Now, here's another funny thing that I find funny. I find it funny that before I even show you this, Carbon Nation is trying to get donations to bail a nigga out of jail that they refuse to show his charges. How y'all asking the public? How y'all asking Babylon? We supposed to be Babylon, right? We supposed to be Babylon, right? If we Babylon, why y'all asking us for help? Y'all supposed to be, that's master teacher. Tell that nigga to teleport out of that bitch. Tell that nigga to motherfucking teleport. Tell that nigga to tell nature to get his bitch ass out of jail. Okay? And so, how y'all asking the public for donations and won't tell the public what he charged with? We want to know what he charged with. We want to know. See, let me, let me, let me, let me show y'all something real quick. Let me show y'all something real quick. Let me show y'all something real quick. Let me make sure my volume all the way up. Hold up. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all something real quick. Boom. Let me slide this over. Now, this is velvet, right? Y'all probably can't hear this, but you can go watch this video. Nature Boy confesses to child abuse, allegedly, right? Now, peep game. She gonna ask the nigga Nature Boy, did they see it? And he gonna say, unfortunately, yes. This nigga gonna admit to what he, whatever he did in the yard, okay? This nigga gonna admit to this shit right here. Listen. She just said, now this is crazy. Now listen, listen. She said, they said they seen you. Now listen. Come on. She said, they said they seen you. He said, yes, they did, unfortunately. Nigga, what? So don't tell me what this nigga did and did not do. Don't come on this motherfucker talking about is or is this nigga ain't a pedophile. We've been telling y'all this shit for months. If you go on my on my on my YouTube page that I made on Instagram called YP Instagram Live, everything I said is coming true. I said the nigga gonna go to jail within the next six months. I said the nigga gonna do something to the baby and he gonna go to jail. I said it. I said it. If I'm yo. If I didn't say this shit, I said it. Everything that's happening, I said it. I said it. I said this shit, nigga. I don't be I don't be doing this shit for fake. I do this shit for real. I said it. Everything I said coming true. I said the nigga gonna do something to the baby and Velvet gonna let him. Go find the video. Go find the video where I said I said yo. I said, I remember specifically what I said. I said, Velvet is the type of bitch that will let Nature Boy touch that baby and won't say shit. That's what I said. That's what I said. And I said, Nature Boy gonna be over there doing shit to that motherfucking kid, okay? And nobody gonna say nothing. It took for the neighbors to call. Neighbors had to say, what the fuck? And call the police. I wanna know what that nigga in jail for. Why y'all asking for donate? Don't ask us for shit, bitch, until you tell us his charges. Why you won't tell us his charge? Let me move my motherfucking dress. Now, I haven't seen his charges. I'm taking a guess. Okay? I don't know. I, I don't know what he was charged with. 
He wouldn't have to be char- charged with doing something to that kid, would he? Would it be child abuse? Child neglect? Sexual abuse? Can we know? Can we know? Can we know, please, what, what Nature Boy is charged with y'all before y'all ask us for donations? Can you let us know? Because they came and got that nigga for that baby. Okay? Let's be clear on that. Let's be clear on that. Let's be clear on that. They came and got that nigga for that baby. Okay? Y'all grown. They didn't come get that nigga for y'all. Now, they gonna rack that shit up. Believe that. And as Nicaragua, you know, do their research on the nigga, they gonna, they gonna crack his motherfucking head. Okay? And everybody else that already came to yap him. I mean, everybody else that was already investigating him, they gonna crunch down on him now. But believe that. Believe that. They came because they said he did something to that child. Okay? Now, let's watch an ex-member of Carbon Nation. Okay? Admit, admit, this ain't even the same member that I said, listen, remember when I just told y'all tomorrow night, I'm going to go live and I'm going to run through the interview of one of the women who dealt with him behind the scenes and spilt all the motherfucking, uh, and spilt all the, all the, all the tea on what he was doing. This ain't even her. This the white girl. I believe her name, Mama, Mama Thai or Thai, whatever the fuck her name is. This the white girl who confirms that Nature Boy was making... Uh, everybody drink his sperm and giving it to children. Talking about his information. Man, I don't make this shit up, dog. I don't make it. I said, listen, y'all probably like, Pharaoh, why you not so hyped? I said it. This shit is only surprising niggas who is silly and don't know how to see. Everything that's happening to Nature Boy right now, I said it. I said, when I'm done crushing Nature Boy, Everybody that ain't got no life on the internet gonna troll and eat my crumbs. Everybody trolled Nature Boy because I made get no Nature Boy head a trend on the internet. Then I said, nigga, you gonna go to jail for doing some shit to them kids, nigga. And and, and everybody over there gonna let you. And and you gonna get stopped when it get too far. And this is exactly what happened. You did something to your own daughter with your weird ass, and now you in jail. Because you's a dumbass, trifling nigga. Okay? So, I don't want nobody acting like, uh, this is a surprise. I don't want everybody acting like they're so shocked that this nigga finally went down. When I fucking literally, Pharaoh Domishly projected this shit and called this shit out six months ago. Exactly how I said, listen... And I know I don't want to be toot my own horn, but I have to toot my own horn. Exactly how I said this nigga was going to go to jail is exactly how this nigga went to jail. I said it. And exactly what that nigga was going to be doing over there and they they was going to be over there letting him do it is exactly what I said they was going to do. Now, remind y'all, and I'm I'm not even playing the clip yet because I got to make my point. Remind y'all, okay? For those of you who want to say, damn, well... How they just let him do that like that? Don't forget that damn near everybody over there is a pedophile. One nigga raped his two sisters on a drunk night, okay? The other nigga raped his cousin, okay? The other nigga, listen, everybody over there is pedophiles, okay? So keep it, let's keep, let's, 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 let's let me refresh y'all motherfucking memories, okay? So he got, a, a, all the niggas on his team is pedophiles. All the females on his team either got mental health issues or they bird brains. He got everybody over there drinking semen. Talking about this informational downloads. And motherfuckers. It's a house full of adults. Over there letting this nigga be inappropriate. With not only them. But children. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me remind y'all. On, on who the fuck. His, on what the fuck his team is built on. Now. Here's another dodo brain. Okay. And this video right here is from Ashe Divine YouTube channel. This this our YouTube channel right here, Ashe Divine. Divine spelled D-E-V-I-N-E. Here's the video right here. Nature Boy believes his sperm is information and give it to children. Now listen to her confirm what the fuck Ashe been saying for years and what I've been saying for months. Let's go. Rock with carbonation and I understand them to a level where I can speak out about certain things because I understand certain things of why they do what they do. Now this bitch talking about she understand why this motherfucker make people drink semen. Listen to this shit. I don't make this shit up. You can't make this type of shit up. Listen. And the way they live, the way they're living, hear me out, the way that they are living, out in nature, whatever. 
Now, how they living in nature and they in a whole goddamn, they, and they was in a whole goddamn Airbnb paying rent? Like, how long y'all gonna keep telling us y'all was living in nature? Listen, listen. If Nature Boy and Carbon Nation was living in nature, then if you live in a mansion, you gotta be living in heaven. That's 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 how we gonna do this. If that nigga was living in that, if 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 an Airbnb with motherfucking t flat screens and TVs and motherfucking all kind of radiation being created through the use of Wi-Fi and electronics, if that's living in nature. Then living in a fucking mansion gotta be living in Jesus' room. Like, your motherfucking mansion gotta be Jesus' room. But anyway, let's get back to this, uh, asshole talking about some, she, she rock with them and she could understand why this nigga make adults and children drink semen. Mm-hmm. Let's go. I need my water. I worked out today in goddamn 80, 80 degree plus weather. Let's go. I got to stay hydrated. Let's go. Him giving his sperm to his kid, in his eyes, he sees it as this is supplement. Boom. Listen. This is nutrition. I'm not saying. So you hear this bitch? <laughs> you hear this bitch? Do you hear this bitch? Whoa, she, this bitch over here trying to defend this nigga giving sperm, giving his sperm to his kid. I told you. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all. Somebody please go find the video and make a fucking clip of me saying that this nigga was going to go to jail for abusing that baby. Please, please. I'm pretty sure he got many charges, but that's one of them, okay? Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to run this back like I always do. And I'm I'm ready to go off right now. I'm ready to go off right now. But y'all got to wait to the documentary. Y'all got to wait. It's, and I don't even, I'm ready to go right now. But y'all got to wait for the documentary. That bitch just tried to defend this nigga, excuse me, giving his semen to a motherfucking infant. Talking about it's nutrition and supplement. Woo! I tell you. See, I gotta watch my mouth because I'm gonna put this on YouTube. And I know, I know, I know how y'all like to rock. So I gotta watch my mouth. But with that being said, boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. See, I'm, I'm ashamed of a lot of people. See? And them motherfuckers be asking me, what you think about Mr. Marquez? Listen, I'm gonna tell you what. I ain't got nothing negative to say, you know, about the family. Members of anybody over there because that's, you know I mean, that's, that's out of my jurisdiction. But I tell you what, I'm going to tell you what I would have did, all right? If I would have got a chance to go over there, oh, it would have been a whole, it wouldn't have been no motherfucking talking, nigga. It wouldn't have been no motherfucking talking. I'll tell you that. Wouldn't have been no smiling. Listen, a nigga busts my daughter face, a nigga feeding his semen to my granddaughter, a nigga beating up on my motherfucking daughter. A nigga talking shit to me over the internet because he think I can't come over there. A nigga tell me that he my daughter daddy now. And the, the, see, see y'all forget all that fly shit that I don't forget none of that. That nigga told Mr. Marquez, I'm her daddy now. She ain't, he told Mr. Marquez, she ain't got no family now. The nigga was feeding the baby his semen. Nigga bust her nose open. Nigga talking crazy. Crazy. And then nigga went out to eat with him. Now, let me tell y'all why that's important, okay? And like I said, this is not a shot at Mr. Marquez, none of that. This is this is me putting myself in that situation. Let me tell y'all why that's important. This situation shows y'all how weak older niggas is in the community. I don't give a fuck if y'all want to say Mr. Marquez is black or not. I don't give a fuck. The point I'm trying to make it is when we speaking on so-called minorities, okay? With the, watch the quotation marks. This right here is a prime example of why niggas will always be oppressed. Because if y'all pussy niggas can't stop a bitch nigga like Nature Boy, what y'all think y'all gonna do trying to stop the motherfucking Illuminati, the 1%, the goddamn New World Order? Y'all, a nigga got violated by his motherfucking 
daughter's deadbeat, dusty, pedophile baby father. And you couldn't run in that nigga mouth. So I don't, so, so when niggas be talking that, like, it's just like this. Why do so many men, not even black men, why do so many men want respect when you don't deserve none? If, if you're not a cutthroat nigga, if you, excuse me, let me rephrase that. You don't have to be a cutthroat nigga. But if you won't defend the people that you claim to love, nigga, you don't get no respect. You can be a skateboarding nerd. I don't give a fuck. If a nigga violate and he beating on your daughter and he, and he feeding your daughter his semen and a nigga going ham and you don't run in this nigga mouth when you see this nigga, but you go out to eat with him, that's fine. That's fine if that's how you want to handle the situation. But the reason I'm making this point is because this Nature Boy situation and how it was handled is exactly how niggas handle every situation. Niggas talk all that shit about how the Clintons locked us up. What's the first thing niggas do when they see Bill Clinton? Hey, Bill, shake my hand. You got your dick sucked in the White House. Ha, ha, ha. Hillary Clinton called our children predators. What's the first thing you do when you see Hillary Clinton? Hey, Hillary girl, I, 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 you running for president? Now you want to shake, shake the bitch hand. Niggas talk all that shit about oppression, this, that, and the third, what we need to do. You niggas ain't going to swat a motherfucking fly. If you can't, Nature Boy is a bitch. Let me say that, okay? Let me say that. Nature Boy's a pussy. If you couldn't run in this nigga Nature Boy mouth, y'all niggas ain't going to run in nobody mouth. And so that's the point I'm trying to make. If a nigga feeding your granddaughter his semen, Nature Boy haven't done anything that, uh, let me say this again before I play this back, because I don't want y'all to think I'm going on a rant. I'm, I'm, I'm making a point here. Nature Boy hasn't done anything less than what an actual slave master has done to a black person, a black woman or a child. Niggas talk all that shit about what they would have did if they was alive during slavery. You wasn't alive during slavery. You was alive during this. A nigga sexually assaulted your daughter, beat your daughter the fuck up on multiple occasions, Cut her motherfucking hair off her motherfucking head. We all heard it live. Okay? A nigga sexually ab abused your granddaughter. Fed her his, his semen. Mind you, the nigga got AIDS, HIV, and hepatitis B, and, and he got herpes. He gave, some, he gave a couple people herpes. I brought those receipts. It has been medically confirmed that Nature Boy gave somebody herpes. So this nigga got herpes, HIV allegedly, and hepatitis B, and he feeding all of this shit to your dog, your granddaughter. This nigga is feeding your granddaughter contaminated semen. If all of that is not enough to make you run in this nigga mouth, nigga what? I would have killed it. Excuse my language. I would have, man, I would have beat the fuck out of this nigga. Is you crazy? You doing, nigga, oh my, nigga, I would have went to, I would have been the happiest nigga in that Mexican jail. I would have been in that motherfucker with my feet kicked up like this, waiting to go to court. Sir, you charged, what, homicide. Do you know that? Oh yeah, I'm aware of that. Do you got my motherfucking sandwich? Do you got my motherfucking sandwich? I'm ready to go to my cell. I know what I'm charged with, bitch. Take me to my cell so I can watch these motherfucking, so I can watch this motherfucking Spanish news. <laughs> So I can watch this motherfucking Spanish news and do the motherfucking harande harande at five o'clock. Bitch, take me to my say. I know what I'm charged. I would have knocked that Nick man. Listen, it wouldn't have been no more motherfucker. That would have been the deadliest live that y'all ever seen in y'all life. Y'all have been like, I did not know Young Pharrell give it up like that. Straight up. But with that being said, it is what it is. Uh. Okay, here we go. Hold up. Here we go. Let's keep it moving. Let me go back. Let me rewind this shit. Let me rewind this shit. Let me rewind this shit. Now let, let's let's hear her defend this nigga again. We gonna run through the tape. Here we go. I am any of that. I'm saying I rock with Chief. I rock with Carbonation, and I understand them to a level where I can speak out about certain things because I understand certain things of why they do what they do. So she understands why they do what they do. Now let's hear her saying exactly what it is that they do. And the way they live. Uh -huh. The way they're living, let me, hear me out. The way that they are living, 
out in nature, whatever. Him giving his sperm to his kid, in his eyes, he sees it as, this is supplement. See? This is nutrition. See? See? And she was over there. She seen it. Bitch said, him giving his motherfucking kid semen is supplement and nutrition. I'm not saying... So that's not, a, that's not, a, that's not, a, that's not right, if that's the way he look at it. No, I'm, I'm asking you, if that's the way he look at it, right, and you got a little girl, is that somebody you want to continue to follow because you rock with him? Because he looks at, it like, giving sperm to children is okay if he said this about speak on it because I already know what's going on. Obviously, you're not a part of the family like you think you are because you would know exactly what they know. I'm not saying I'm a part of the family. I am any of that. I'm saying I rock with Chief. I rock with Carbonation. She rock with Chief and she rock with Carbonate. So she rocks with a pedophile. And she rocks with a team full of pedophiles, okay? Let's keep it moving. And I understand them to a level where I can speak out about certain things because I understand certain things of why they do what they do. And the way they look... So she's talking about she can understand why they do... Well, bitch, I can't. So can you help me to understand? I can't understand why a grown-ass man will be feed... Listen here. I don't know how old his, how old his daughter is, right? I don't really remember. She got to be like four or five months old or some shit like that. Her stomach is not even able to digest that. What are you talking about? Bitch, what can you understand? The only thing a baby is able to digest in the first half a year to eight to nine months, maybe even ten months, okay, is, uh, whatchamacallit, colostrum from the breast and breast milk. What are you talking about? Babies are not biologically engineered to be digesting fucking herpes, HIV, hepatitis B. I'm pretty sure the nigga got a motherfucking BV, okay? I'm pretty sure the nigga got some kind of goddamn, uh, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the nigga got a BV. Okay, I'm pretty sure he over there throwing females pH balances off. Okay, so that being said, this motherfucker is giving contaminated semen to a child. Bitch, what do you understand about that? Tell me scientifically, psychologically, and, 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 and fucking spiritually how you understand this. Please tell me. Please tell me. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Come on, man. Let me keep it moving, though. Let me keep it moving. Let me keep it moving. Let's go. The way they're living, let me, hear me out. The way that they are living, out in nature, whatever, him giving his sperm to his kid, in his eyes, he sees it as, this is supplement. This is nutrition. I'm not saying... So that's not a... That's not a and not only that, he said that Velvet was giving birth to his next wife. Do you know who his next wife he was referring that to? Remember, y'all, when he said his baby was his next wife? Velvet is giving birth to my next wife when Velvet was in labor. That's crazy, I right? I know y'all said that shit. Y'all said that shit. So, I did not see him. You, exactly, you didn't see it for yourself, but we all seen it. It's all over the internet. And she can't even look. And he put it out. We don't, and he admits to it eventually right. when he's called out on it. That's the only time he's going to admit up to something. When he's called out on it. He denied beating Velvet, but when he was called out on it on live, did you see that? Right. He admitted to busting her face and made it bleep. No, I never and said beating that. beating on their women? And you said you didn't experience any of the violence while you Now. Now, now let me say this, right? Because the Virgo in me is on deck right now. I don't give a fuck how tired I am. I'm tired as hell right now. I'm not going to lie. But I don't give a fuck how tired I am. The Virgo in me never go to sleep. The bitch just said, Oh, I never, I, 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 I never experienced him saying that his daughter was, uh, whatchamacallit, his daughter was going to be his next wife, right? So... You you can defend him feeding his baby semen because you was there for that. But you got a problem with somebody telling you that motherfucking his baby was going to be his next wife? See? 
This bitch just admitted that. So she can't say she wasn't there. She can't say. And they said that uh, it's Grammy gave this motherfucking interview. So, so, and so shout out to that page for bringing this to the forefront. Okay? Because we needed this right here. Because this is confirmation to what the fuck we've been saying. Okay? Bitch. Let me tell you something, bitch. Okay? Mama Thai, I'm talking to you now. Let me tell you something. You's a trifling ass bitch, and you need to go to jail too. Okay? You need to go to jail too. Now, I know a lot of motherfuckers gonna say, Oh, Pharaoh, how you wishing that a motherfucker go to jail? Let me tell you something. It's only two things you do with certain type of motherfuckers. You put they ass in the dirt, or you lock they ass up. Now, it's either we knock these motherfuckers' heads off, or we lock they ass up. Me, personally, I don't got time to be uh, explaining to my kids why I can't be in their life. Because I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with trifling motherfuckers. So... We just gonna let the motherfuckers whose job it is to deal with you, deal with you. Bitch, your ass need to be right next to this motherfucker. Because you sat there and you watched this nigga feed this motherfucking baby his semen. You nasty ass bitch. You probably drunk the shit too. Talking about you understand it. And that's why you're trying to do... See, let me teach y'all something about psychology. I study psychology. I don't just keep bringing the fucking word psychology up for no reason. This is why I can break people down very well, okay? Let me tell you motherfuckers what this bitch is doing. And what a lot of people in carbonation do. The reason that a lot of people in carbonation defend Nature Boy is because really they defending the, the act that they were bullied into uh, participating in. For example, right? A nigga will defend homosexuality after he do some gay shit, okay? Let me give an example. A nigga be like, yo, I don't play that homo shit. This, that, and the third, woo woo And then a nigga, uh, uh, let, let's just say a, a record deal or a modeling company, uh, you know, I mean, excuse me, a record company or a modeling company hit him up. And let's say this is one of them corrupt, corrupt ass companies and they be like, nigga, you gonna have to suck some dick if you want this album to get released. Nigga do some gay shit to get his album released. Now, on the interview, they ask this same nigga, how do you feel about homosexuality? Now, this same nigga answer going to be totally different. Now, his answer is going to be, well, I believe, you know, that people should be free to live their life how they want to live their life. And wati wati woo. Because really, what he's doing is he trying to give his own self out to the gay shit that he just did. Okay? So... What everybody in Carbonation is doing is they're not justifying the shit that Nature Boy doing because if they would have seen that nigga or anybody else doing that shit before they start fucking with him, they would have totally denied it. But since they have been participating in the bullshit, now they're going to defend him because by defending him, they're defending their own, them own, their own selves for taking part in the bullshit, okay? So it's different. By just asking the niggas over there, what do you think about niggas saying that Nature Boy is a pedophile? They not going to say we don't fuck with that shit because they watching this nigga every day ejaculate and feed his semen to his own daughter. And they drinking the shit too. So so, so they can't denounce this nigga because then that mean they got to denounce they self for participating in this cold ass nasty shit. Okay? Okay? Okay. Okay, so, so so that we hear, so that we hear. Okay, I you niggas is you niggas is little niggas to me. I will break you niggas down like like some cheap ass Legos every time on time. Okay, when a nigga do some fuck shit, he gonna defend the fuck shit because really he defending himself for participating in the fuck shit. Okay, when you really 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 don't fuck with something, you you it don't matter if your mama do it, nigga. I don't fuck with Jesus. So, nigga, I don't give a fuck who a Christian, nigga. If I know you, if I don't, if I love you, if I don't, fuck Jesus, nigga. What you talking about? That's what it is. If I got to lose a couple of friends behind that, that's cool. Okay? So, you got to watch niggas. You got to watch niggas. See? If a nigga asks me, Pharaoh, what you think about pedophilia? What you mean? The only thing I think about pedophilia is where the motherfuckers should be buried at. That's it. I don't give a fuck if I find out my mama is a pedophile. My answer won't change. Bet it won't. Bet it won't. Let me find out my mama a pedophile and then ask me about pedophilia while my mama right here. Bet my answer won't change. Where her ass needs to be buried at. Okay? 
So the only time you have you you switch your answer or you start to sway on some shit is when you partaking in the shit and you want to defend the shit. Okay? Like I tell people all the time, I don't, I don't. Let me get my disclaimer since I spoke on it. When it comes to homosexuality, I don't hate nobody. I don't give a fuck what you do. Just don't do it in front of me. That's my that's my answer. I ain't going to war with motherfucking, you know, homosexuals. I don't give a fuck. You grown. That's what you just don't do it in front of me. But I don't approve of it. You know I don't approve of it. But I don't have to battle you on that. You can live your best life. I'll live my, just don't do it in front of me. But I'm not going to approve of the shit, okay? Because I don't engage in the shit. So them niggas is over there approving of the shit because they engaging in the shit, okay? That's just what it is. It's just, it's no way around that. Now let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving, okay? Let's keep it moving. Because I got to say, I got to listen. Let me sip my water. I got too many receipts in front of me right now. I got too many receipts. Mm-hmm. I got too many receipts. See, I know you niggas, dog. All y'all motherfuckers over there defending the shit because y'all motherfucker. See, we, we don't even got to say allegedly no more. We just going to say it. For 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 YouTube purposes, all right. But we don't even gotta sell it. This bitch just confirmed that she sent this nigga feeding semen to the baby and everybody else. Talking about his information. It's a download. What? Don't you know that sperm die when it hit the oxygen when, when it come in contact with oxygen? You don't know that. Nigga, that's third grade science. What are you talking about? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me debunk this nigga right now before I even play this next video. Cause y'all forgot I'm the most illest scientific black person on the internet. Y'all forgot I really do this shit. If you talking about you eat a plant based diet, right? Which y'all don't. But let me just bust down carbonation right now. If carbonation is saying that they eat that bullshit ass B6 diet, because it's alive and it's alkaline. And you don't eat meat because meat is dead. But you eat plants and fruit for information. Then how do you think semen is giving you information? Unless, I mean, if the semen is dead. If the semen, hold on, let me block a bitch real quick. Let me block a troll. Okay, bye, bitch. Have a good night, bitch. Anyway, like I was saying. If the meat is dead, and you don't eat the meat because it's dead, then how the fuck do you think that you're getting information from the semen if the semen is dead? What are you talking about? I'm trying to figure this out. So, 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 let me ask y'all again. If y'all allegedly eat alkaline food because it's alive, and you don't eat meat, okay? And you don't eat meat, okay? Once again, you don't eat meat because it's dead. Then how are you getting information from semen when semen is dead when it hits the oxygen? I'm trying to figure this out. Because if your, if your, if your logic behind drinking another man's semen, not only as a woman, but as a man, which is gay, nigga, is weirdly gay. It's, it's beyond Fear Factor gay. It's beyond, it's beyond Sci-Fi Channel gay. Okay? If another nigga can convince another nigga to drink his sperm because it gives him information and y'all niggas are supposed to be master teachers, at what point in time did you not think to ask this nigga, hey, bro, your semen dies when it comes in contact with the oxygen. So how am I getting information from a dead substance? Nobody thought to ask that? Huh? What? What? It shows how all y'all niggas' IQs gotta be like negative 500,000. Come on now. Y'all niggas, we need you niggas smoke crack. I'm convinced y'all niggas be over there dead ass smoking crack. I'm convinced y'all niggas be over there dead ass smoking crack. I'm convinced. <laughs> how? Listen, this shit hilarious before I even play the next video. 
How is y'all let it? How did you let a nigga convince you to drink his semen though? I would have, yo. Listen, what? Y'all niggas smoking crack heavy. How you let a nigga convince you to drink drink it? I wish a nigga would. A nigga would. A nigga better not even be thinking no shit like that. Like yo, bro, listen, man, I had a download, and and nigga, listen, my semen got information. Nigga, homie, I'm going on the news tonight. I'm going on the news tonight. I'm going to be right in my mugshot like that. Right in my mugshot, bossed up. Like, what happened? That nigga said some motherfucking... Man, that nigga said some... Nigga, I don't even want to repeat that shit, nigga. Give my motherfucking... Send me to my motherfucking cell, nigga. Give my motherfucking blanket, nigga. And I don't want no celly. But you give me a celly, I'm beating him the fuck up. Straight up. Nigga, put me in there by myself, nigga, so I can cut my motherfucking radio on and kick my motherfucking feet up, nigga. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> ain't nobody, ain't nobody in this motherfucker but me. Let's go. Listen. 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 Let me, let me, let me show y'all this. Why are you asking for me? Right. Yeah, specifically. You want to come and see in the house? Come. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Make sure we come and see. Hello, sir. Please. Hello. I need you. Now where's all that tough shit that he was talking about? Where's all that? If I go to jail, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Grand Theft Auto Five star it. I'm a shoot it out, nigga. I'm a. If the fans come to get me, out of that, that. Where's that at? Where's all that at? Huh? Look, you see that chopper? Let me go back. Wait a minute. Hold on. They just pray when we lock when she flies. Boom. You see this? Okay. Police don't come to your motherfucking house brandishing no motherfucking weapons for no ordinary shit. Okay? They're not playing like that. I don't go for what country you in. Okay? This right here is is they prepared to use deadly force if necessary, nigga. They was already expecting this nigga to live up to that tough Tony shit that he was talking on the internet. Now listen. Look. Nigga talking about he in nature with a fan. <laughs> nigga, where that's at? Where that's at in nature? Huh? But well, let's keep it moving. Please. Let me fast forward through. See? 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 Now let me break this down, right? Now listen, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something, right? Oh, hell no, listen. Instagram, Instagram kicking me out. Come back in, y'all. Come back in. I'm not down. I'm finna, I'm finna start breaking down the crime scene right now. Come back in. Come back in. Everybody come back. Instagram kicking me out. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. We back. We right back in this motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. We right back in this motherfucker. Let me break this bitch right down. Let's go. All right, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm over here looking at these receipts on these on these motherfucking, you know, a specific a specific section of Caucasians who upset about the mermaid being black. And don't worry, cause I'm finna jump on y'all motherfucking heads next. Okay, let me say this to every white person who's upset about the mermaid being black. So, because I, I mean, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Okay, and we know it's not all white people. So please, white people, don't jump in here saying it's not all white people. But for the large amount of white people that it is, who's upset about the mermaid being black, okay? 
Why is it okay that the let me say this slow for y'all? Why is it okay that the mermaid is black? I mean, it's not okay that the mermaid is black, but the fish could be Jamaican. Cause if I'm not mistaken, that fish was Jamaican. Now, I ain't watched the Little Mermaid in a long ass time, but if I'm not mistaken, that fish was motherfucking Jamaican or something. Once somebody was Jamaican, I don't know if it was the goddamn the lobster. The fish, somebody asked what's your... Hold on, wait a minute. Now I got to prove my own point. Hold on. Who had the Jamaican voice, Little Mermaid? Hold on, wait a minute. Who the fuck was it? Did, okay, it was the lobster. Okay, so the lobster could be a nigga. But Ariel can't be no nigga? What are y'all talking? Whoa, whoa. So we could be the animals, huh? So it's cool if we the animals. It's cool if we not the main character. And then y'all motherfuckers, listen, I seen a motherfucker say some dumb shit, right, trying to use science. I seen a motherfucker say, well, technically, the little mermaid would have to be white because, you know, she lived at the bottom of the sea and there was no sunlight down there. So, you know, she would lack melanin. Let me let you assholes know that you don't just lack melanin because of lack of sunlight, asshole, okay? Y'all don't even know how melanin is formed, okay? Melanin comes from carbon. Once once sunlight hits the carbon-12 atoms in the, uh, I mean, it's the nitrogen-14 atoms uh, in the atmosphere, they convert to carbon-12. This is why 99.99% .99 of all the universe is made up of carbon because the nitrogen converts to carbon via exposure to sunlight okay and so now why is this important as long as you are naturally created by the universe you're going to have a certain format of melanin so now if we want to use scientific facts on why or why not ariel should have melanin or should she be white or black if 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 the mermaid if you can logically concede as a white person that allegedly the mermaid should not be black because she was away from the sun how the fuck, in the other hand, can you niggas constantly keep playing the Egyptians? Constantly keep playing all of these black people in, histor in history when they couldn't have been white because they was directly exposed to the sun. So I'm not understanding the hypocrisy in this argument. And I'm finna jump back on Nature Boy here in a second, but I gotta hit you motherfuckers up real quick. Y'all niggas is mad at you. How can you sit here and say Ariel can't be black? Because she was away from the sun, which means she would have less melanin. Which, even that's arguable. But if I was to give you that point, then how about this? All of the mummy movies that you made, go go give us our money for them shits. Because they were supposed to be black. That weak-ass gods of Egypt shit that you made, give us our money for that. Because they were supposed to be black. All of these motherfucking historical movies that y'all made, where y'all had white people playing black motherfucking roles, give us our motherfucking money because they should have been black. So I'm tired of you motherfuckers want to use science and use common sense when you want to argue your bum ass point. But you don't want to use it when you want to argue our point. Okay? Don't forget on Good Morning America, we ain't forget when you tried to pull out that fucking Neander TD ass sculptor, sculpt, sculpted head. Of who was supposed to be Nefertiti, okay? So according to your logic, that Nefertiti can be white, okay? So we can be a bum ass crab, a bum ass Jamaican speaking lobster, motherfucker. Do lobsters speak Jamaican? I never. Ariel can be whatever color she want because she's not real. What are you talking about? It's only one person that I believe. That they should have never made black. That I would agree with white people with. And that's Achilles. Okay? When they made that, I don't, I don't remember what it was. Don't, I think they made it in a new Troy or Trojan movie or some shit like that. And they made one of the white characters black. Okay? That right there, I will I will let white people have that all day. I do not believe that, the, that, that you know, the media should be just making random white people black to appease black people. No, to tell the truth, if you were white in history, let them stay white, okay? But if you were black in history, we should be portrayed as black, okay? I don't want to see no black Alexander the Great. I don't want to see that, okay? Because Alexander the Great wasn't black, and he was gay. 
So I damn sure don't want to see that. Don't you put that shit on us. But with that being said, I do want to see a black Hannibal. I do want to see a black Cleopatra. I do want to see a black King Tut. I do want to see a black everybody else that should have been black. And so that being said, since y'all so mad at Ariel being black in this Disney movie, which is not real, and y'all going so hard about something that's not real, make sure you keep us black in the shit that is real, okay? Okay. Now, with that being said, let's get back on this nigga here, okay? Now, this is where we left off at. Let me do a recap, okay? Now, the police walked through the house, okay? Then they came through the house. Now, let me break this shit down to y'all. As you can see, they went straight to the yard, okay? Now, let me tell you something. Now, this is where y'all need me, okay? Now, this is where y'all need me. I'm going to tell y'all why y'all need me. Nobody can give you better understanding and experience than somebody who has actual experience in that field, okay? Now, let me give you an example. You got FBI, you know, agencies who hire professional hackers to help defend America from being hacked. You know why? Because nobody can stop you from being hacked better than a hacker. Nigga, I done been investigated, raided, arrested so many motherfucking times that I can tell you right now. That they did not specifically go to that yard on accident, okay? Whenever the police come to your crib and they go to a specific point at your location that they was called about, nigga, we can confirm that you did something in this area, okay? They didn't just randomly search the house. They didn't just randomly walk through the motherfucker. They went right to that yard where that lady... I mean, excuse me, where that neighbor called and said she seen what she seen. So don't sit here and play, nigga, I'm a motherfucking convict, nigga. Okay? Police don't come to your house and go specifically to your room and open up the third dresser to the left and lift that shit up and knock three times so some shit fall out on accident. Somebody told them that that's what they had to do, and that's where it was at, and that's what they did, and it turned out to be facts. So don't sit here and play with me. These motherfuckers did not come to that motherfucking Airbnb heavily armed, okay, and specifically go to the yard and start investigating the open space. They got all of this house that they could raid through and, and plummage through and fuck up and, and run through drawers and run through clothes. Y'all know how police do when they raid. They fuck your shit up. They got a whole house that they could be fucking up. They did not pass up this opportunity to fuck up that, that, that Airbnb to go to an open-ass yard, okay? They went, to, they went to what was, according to them, the scene of the crime, okay? So stop playing with me like that. Y'all not going to sit here and play with me like that, dog. Y'all not going to sit here and play with me like that. Come on, man. I done been to jail too many times not to know when, nigga, this right here is, this right here is them having that conversation of where it took place. The neighbor said they seen it happen somewhere over here. Okay? Don't play with me. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, I think she's outside and she looks all panicky. Now they came right to talk to that nigga, okay? Right to talk to that nigga. Now you know why they not talking to nobody else? Because the neighbors said they seen him. They not saying they seen nobody else. If they would have said they seen somebody else, police would have been talking to somebody else, okay? Okay. Let's fast forward. Now they gonna deck with this chopper. Because they wishing a nigga would right now. Now, he don't speak English. So he, he using a uh, phone, I believe, as a translator to speak to Nature Boy. So now, why is he deported? We don't know what the fuck he's saying to Nature Boy. We don't know if he's saying, nigga, you being accused of pedophilia or whatnot. So we not going we not going to make no shit up, but we're not going to allow them to make no shit up on what happened either. Okay. <laughs> Back and forth. Let me fast forward this shit a little bit. 
Trump said I harmed a child. Yo, See? this accused me of, of Listen. Listen, listen. Wait a minute, man. I, I do this. I do this. I do this, nigga. I do this. Y'all just heard I was trying to get there, it popped up. Y'all just heard what he said he was accused of, right? What what he said he was accused of? What he said he was accused of? Harming a child. Nigga, I just told y'all. I just sat here. I just sat here and grabbed this phone and read the shit that the neighbor said they saw. The police just came and went to the exact place that I read what the neighbor said they saw took place in that exact place. Then this nigga just admitted out his mouth, what the fuck? I just told y'all the neighbor said he did. What the fuck? This is why Velvet and none of them dusty ass, crusty, carbonation motherfuckers want to tell y'all what he was charged with. Okay? They, this is why they don't want to tell y'all what he was charged with. Okay? Because they know them donations going to stop being in rotation. They already. And let me tell y'all why they really panicking. Okay? They really panicking because Nature Boy was the breadwinner. Even though he wasn't getting no money, he was keeping them afloat. Now that he's gone, they really sinking. So, I always make predictions that come true. I'm going to make another prediction now. Some of them motherfuckers may go to jail with Nature Boy. But they all finna end their ass back up in America. What you want to bet? They on their way back. See? It ain't no joke when you broke, nigga. I done been broke a few times in this little 25 year old uh, years of living. It ain't no motherfucking joke. And so, they, they, they finna be back. They finna be back. And, and I'm gonna say this before I continue to play the clip. The reason that everybody is going to defend Nature Boy is not because they believe in his demonic teachings. It's because they were partaking in his demonic actions. And if they admit to it, then they ass going to jail too. Velvet is not going to admit that she let this motherfucker abuse that baby. You know why? Because that bitch going to jail too. Bitch, you're going to jail too. None of them niggas over there is going to admit, okay, that this nigga was abusing that baby. And whoever else. You know why? Because all you motherfuckers going to jail too, motherfucker. Fuck wrong with y'all, nigga. Fuck wrong with y'all. Why you think Mama Ty got the fuck out of there? Why you think this bitch is confirming what this nigga did from America while trying to deny it at the same time? Okay? So all of y'all is only defending Nature Boy because y'all don't want to be his co-defendants. But let me, let me, let me play tape. See, y'all gonna stop playing on me, dog. Y'all forgot that I do this shit for real. Harming a child, like the neighbor said, I harmed a child. Yo, that's boom, boom, boom. Run it back. Accuse me of, of they accuse me of, of harming a child, like the neighbor said, I harmed a child. Yo, that's bugged. If the neighbor said that, then how would they know my name? But they said that I'm not under arrest. They just want to talk to me at the office, so I don't know. I'm gonna see what's popping. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga. Now, see, see, I see, I gotta, I see, I gotta go in my cookie bag a little bit tonight, because peep game, peep game. This nigga talking about, oh, they said I'm not under arrest. They said I'm not under arrest, but they just want to talk to me at the office. Now, Nature Boy claims to be a street nigga, which is not true. Okay, he was never a street nigga. Now, me myself. Honestly, by you, by being an ex-street nigga, every street nigga in this chat know right now, if you a street nigga, when the police say they want to talk to you down at the station, that means you finna go to jail. It's like a 10% chance that you not going to jail, okay? When they say, oh, no, nigga, we just got some questions, that means you finna get asked about another nigga or they finna ask you about some shit that you did. If they asking you about some shit that you did, you finna go to jail, nigga. Now, if they asking you about another nigga, you might not be going to jail. How do I know? I done been in this position a few times, okay? I done been in jail a few times. Every nigga know when you get, when the detectives come knock on your motherfucking door 
or the police come knock on your door and they say, oh, just come, we want to talk at the station. The only reason they're telling you to come talk at the station, nine times out of ten is for two reasons. For one, they don't want to cause a scene or a commotion, okay, because your grandma or somebody might be around. They ain't trying to give no old ass lady no heart attack by slamming you on your motherfucking head and handcuffing your bitch ass. So they're going to just tell you come to the station where they're just going to arrest you peacefully. And then for two Okay? They ain't trying to shoot no motherfucking body. Okay? That's the only reason they're telling you to come to the station. So that they can get you. Because you might not be intellectually... Like a lot of people are criminals, but they don't have an intellectual criminal mentality. So the police might say, oh, just come to the station when you want to talk. Because they know that they can catch you up in lies and that they can finesse your ass on that paperwork. So by the time they actually charge you, you can't even fight your case because you already gave yourself an L in the statement that you gave. So when police tell you to come to the station, nine times out of ten, they already got what they need to be talking to your bitch ass. They only need to talk to you so that you can come fuck yourself over on this paper. Nigga, what you talking about, nigga? I'm on parole, nigga. I'm a motherfucking ex-con. I know how this shit go. So when they told that nigga come to the station, he knew what time it was. He knew what time it was. Nigga, if the police come to my house right now and say, Young Pharaoh, can you can you come to the station? We need to talk to you. I'm going to say, yeah, here I come. Let me go upstairs and get my shoes. And I'm jumping right out the motherfucking window. Fuck you talking about go to the station. I know what go to the station mean. And that ain't the old town road. You come to my come to my shit talking about, can we go to the station? You better ask somebody at this back window because I'm out that bitch. Oh, yeah, here I come right now. Don't worry about it. I'm going upstairs to put my shoes on. You know what I mean? Let me, let me uh, get my house key, lock my door. Here I come. The nigga, you gonna be like, where that nigga go? I'm whoop! I'm gonna be right on live. Like, boot game. Listen, y'all, I'm about to go to jail like a motherfucker. <laughs> well, let me stop playing. All jokes aside, let's go. Let me flip the screen back. Nigga talking about they want me to go to the station. That nigga thought he was going to the old town road. <laughs> Now, 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 let me show you how a nigga. So, we're going to see what's going on. Okay, now pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Let me show you how Nature Boy know he guilty. Okay? Because if you... Now, listen, let me tell y'all something. It's not guaranteed that you wrong because the police saying come to the station. They took Malcolm X to the station a couple times. He didn't do shit. So, sometimes they do be trying to intimidate you. But when you a nigga who know for a fact that he's wrong... This is the second time, let me tell y'all something. This is the second time Nature Boy tried to incorporate his whole cult into fighting his battle and getting arrested. Remember, when he got it when he got arrested on that bus in uh Costa Rica, okay? I mean on that van, right? When he got arrested on that van in Costa Rica, what did he do? He spoke for everybody. He said, Don't nobody get off. He wanted everybody to go down with him. Now, why is this important? I didn't see the police talking to nobody else but Nature Boy. I didn't see the police tell nobody else to come to the station but Nature Boy. Nature Boy just said out of his mouth that the police didn't tell nobody else to come to the station but him. He just said they said they want to talk to me down at the station. Now, why is this important? Why the fuck is he saying we are about to go? Huh? Because I'm a boss. Nigga, I go by myself. If I know I ain't do shit, and give me my phone because I'm not getting the fuck off live. And so, what y'all want to do? And so, that being said, he knew what he did, and he knew he was wrong, and he tried to bring his little weak-ass clique with him because uh, pussy niggas running packs. And so, he feeds parasitically off his little coat. So, he wanted to bring his little coat with him so that he could use them as crash dummies. Okay? Straight up. Straight up. Because if it was me, and if it was me, and I knew honestly in my heart, and honestly in my spirit, that I didn't do nothing, I would have told, y'all be thinking I'd be pumping, I do not pump fake. It's a thousand niggas on this internet that pump fake. I promise you, I'm not one of them. And what I'm about to say, this shit is not no disrespect to law enforcement. This is not no disrespect to anybody whose job is to maintain peace and positivity in, in whatever region that they enforcing the law. But I'm just letting people know. There is crooked law enforcement out there. Just like there's righteous law enforcement officers out there. So I'm speaking to the negative capacity. When I, when I say this. I got to get my disclaimer. If a motherfucker come to my house. 
and confuse me and, and, and excuse me, accuse me of some shit I know I didn't do. I'm telling that nigga, who you work for again? Okay, suck my dick. I'm not coming nowhere. Tell your boss I'm not going to talk to nobody. No, what, what y'all want to do? Am I under arrest? Okay, I'm not under Get the fuck out of my face. I'm not coming to no station. What y'all trying to do? And this shit on live. If you ain't got no motherfucking arrest warrant, you saying I did some shit that I did not do, what y'all want to do, nigga? Why do give a fuck about no motherfucking... We get this shit rocking real fast. You're not going to accuse me of no... I don't play that pedophile shit. I don't play that. I'll fight you over that. D don't come to my house talking about you taking me to jail for pedophilia. Don't take me to jail for no pedophilia. I'd rather you come to my house and, and, and plant some, some cocaine on me. I'd rather you, nigga, come lie about a cocaine charge. I'll go to jail for that. Y'all know I don't, y'all know I don't do no cocaine, but I'd rather fight that charge. Don't come to my house talking about some kids got touched. You come to my house talking about some kids got touched, nigga, you better have the motherfucking Marines with you. Because I'm not coming, I'm not about to, we not about to play that. Bitch, we do not play that, nigga. Come to my house and accuse me. Come to my house and say you seen a nigga, you seen a nigga shooting dope on the porch or something. Y'all you know I mean? Nigga, I'd rather, I'd rather fight them alligators. Don't do not come to my house talking about you seen somebody feeding an infant they semen. And that somebody was me. Oh, nigga, we about to, nigga, you got to use that chopper you bought. And it's not the only chopper that's around. So, nigga, you better know how to, listen. Do, do not come to my house accusing me of no motherfucking pedophile. Please don't. Please don't. So he, I'm saying that to say this, right? I'm saying all of that in a hypothetical joking manner. I don't want nobody to think, oh, this nigga fat. I'm not. So if you're law enforcement or you a police ass nigga and you watching, none of that was a threat. I'm saying that to say this. Any real nigga, any real man, I don't give a fuck if you a police or not. Any real man know the disgusting nature of being accused of being a pedophile. So nature boy, okay, wasn't even upset the way any real nigga would have been upset because he knew he did it. He knew he did it. He knew he did it. Any real nigga would have went ham. I 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 would have went ham, dog. Before I even played this, I would have went ham. As soon as I would have said, what's the problem, officer? That nigga would have said, that nigga would have typed pedophilia. And I would have typed that nigga back. Get the fuck out of my house right now, bitch. Don't accuse me of touching no. Don't you ever disrespect me like that. Nigga, you better chew, you better accuse somebody of selling bricks out this motherfucker. Don't come over here with them child motherfucking charges. Fuck is you talking about? So the, the reason that that nigga wasn't upset is because he know he did it, okay? And once again, I got to get my disclaimer. Everything I said was colorful, hy hypothetical, in a joking manner. I don't want anybody affiliated or trying to be affiliated with law enforcement offended by what I just said, okay? It's freedom of speech. I use mine in a colorful manner, metaphorically and hypothetically, to make the points that I need to make and get across what I'm trying to get across to my audience. And with that being said, let's continue on. I got to get my disclaimer because a lot of you niggas out there is some bitch ass niggas. Now with that being said, let's keep it moving. This is what I have to go through with trolls, bro. He talking about this what he got to go through with trolls. How the fuck is the neighbor a troll? Huh? Look. This is what I have to go through with trolls, bro. See? See? See, y'all forgot I y'all forgot I had this nigga card a long time ago. I gotta pause again cause you you probably think it damn Pharaoh. Why you keep pausing the goddamn documentary? Okay? Let me tell you why. Narcissism. What Nature Boy is doing now is playing victim. Oh man. Oh, this is what I gotta go through with trolls. Oh man, believe me. Oh, poor old me. Poor old Nature Boy. Oh, poor old me. Oh, why I'm getting accused of pedo. Oh, why I'm getting accused of touching my own daughter in the yard. Oh, poor old me. Oh, oh, boo. Boo. Oh, I'm, a, I'm almost 40 years old and this is what I got to go through. Why won't nobody leave me alone? Nigga, because you did it, bitch. Nigga, fuck you talking about, nigga. That playing victim shit don't work around this bitch, nigga. Fuck you talking about? You did it, nigga. They came in and went right to the yard. They didn't even go nowhere else. They came in, went to the yard, and walked your bitch ass out. They did. That's good police work. Bravo, nigga. 
to the Nicaragua police. That's good police work. They came, they got a call, responded, investigated, apprehended the suspect. Boom. Nigga, that's good motherfucking police work. What you talking about? Now, I could see, if they would have came in and went through the house and didn't find shit and then kept fucking with you, then you would have had, I would have been like, all right, nigga, maybe they trying to agitate you. You know what I mean? Maybe they trying to, maybe they trying to fuck with you because they searched your house. They didn't find nothing. Okay? And, and they kept going. So now I would have been like, okay, they was looking for something. But nigga, this is not one of them incidents where niggas could say the police was 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 looking to fuck with a nigga. Nigga, they went exactly to the spot. Exactly. Did a proper investigation and then yapped your bitch ass. So I don't want to hear none of that. The police and the black man and I, nigga, take your bitch ass to jail, bitch. And nigga, you got about 20 to 30 years worth of push-ups that your bitch ass about to be getting ready to do. Okay? So let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Here we go. Somebody uh, called a lawyer for me in Nicaragua. Somebody called a lawyer in Managua. Look at him. Look at him. He's talking about somebody called a lawyer, right? He's talking about somebody called a lawyer for him in Nicaragua. Call a lawyer for me and somebody call the U.S. Embassy and tell the U.S. Embassy that I'm... That I'm somebody call who? Call Babylon. Call a lawyer for me and somebody call the U.S. Embassy and tell the U.S. Embassy that I'm that I'm being harassed here. Let the U.S. Embassy know I'm being harassed. Where my motherfucking wig at? Wait a minute. Where's my motherfucking wig at? Where's my motherfucking wig? Hold on, because y'all about to have me act up out this bitch. Where's my wig? Oh, my God. Where's my motherfucking wig? Woo! Where's my wig? Quit playing with me today. Wait a minute, y'all got to grab my wig. This nigga playing with me. Call the who? I called them. I'm going to tell you exactly what they said. Where's my wig? Oh, bitch, you lucky. Oh, bitch, you lucky I can't find my motherfucking piece. Bitch, you can't. You lucky I can't find my motherfucking Chad. Where's my Chad? Where's my Chad at? Oh, bitch, you lucky. You lucky. Nigga, you is a lucky nigga. Wait a minute. Let me look. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I got to find my Chad. I gotta find my motherfucking wig. Cause this nigga got us fucked up at the US Embassy. Call who? <laughs> Call who, motherfucker? Bitch, where's my wig? Wait a minute. I gotta turn to a white man real quick. Where's my chat? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I gotta find my chat. Hold on. I got to find my motherfucking wig. He got us fucked up. Wait a minute, y'all. Oh, this nigga lucky. Oh, this nigga lucky. Wait a minute. Where's my chat? Yo, I'm pissed. I can't find my wig. Where is my chat at? See, this is what happens when you do lectures and shit and you just be, and you just be moving shit. Hold on, y'all. Let me look one more place. Let me look one more place. Damn. Damn. My shit might be downstairs. I'll be playing too much. Shit be all around the house. Damn, I got to find my chat. Let me say this, nigga. We called the embassy. They said, tell you this. Go fuck yourself, bitch. You been talking all that shit about us over here in Babylon. You been talking all that shit about the motherfucking embassy, the jimbassy, the rembassy, the hembassy, the kimbassy. Now you talking about call the embassy. Call the embassy. Embassy? Embassy, bitch. Go to jail, bitch. <laughs> nigga talking about calling a lawyer and nigga that I want to bitch. Nigga, this is what every this is what the lawyer said. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Get these nuts. Fuck nigga. I called the embassy. They said hello. Oh no, you can keep that you can keep that nigga. <laughs> keep that and they said nigga too. I heard him. I heard him. I act like I ain't here. I ain't give a fuck. It was you. They said they called you a nigga. I I turned the blind eye. Cause you the Christ, nigga. You said turn the other cheek. Nigga, they say, oh no, you can keep that nigga, keep him, keep him, keep him, listen, all jokes aside, let me tell y'all why this nigga is a, is a bird, okay, let me tell y'all why this nigga is a bird, if you got four or five women, and y'all broke, you don't need to be practicing polygamy, I've said this a thousand times, okay, okay, when y'all see me talking to more than one person, 
Best belief, it ain't going to be no broke going on. Because I'm not going to let no broke be going on while I'm with me. If I'm single, I'm not going to be broke. That don't mean I'm going to be rich, but I'm not going to be broke. Now, here's the thing. Okay? If you're talking to two, three women and y'all broke, nigga, please. Nigga, if I go to jail and I'm talking to two to three women, y'all better just go get my money and bail me out. Or go get y'all money and bail me out. There's no reason why I should be asking Babylon to call a lawyer. Why don't my women have nothing to show for this relationship except some dusty ass tattoos? What? See, now I said this months ago, okay? I said this months ago. Them women over there wasn't nothing but sex objects. That's it. He wasn't trying to get no money with them. He wasn't trying to empower them. This is why, now that Nature Boy is gone, nobody over there got shit to show for their interaction with him besides taking his penis or drinking some semen from his penis. Niggas over there have interacted with Nature Boy's penis more than they've interacted with Nature Boy's wallet. Nature Boy has taken money from everybody, haven't given money to nobody. Nature Boy has given penis to everybody, though. Okay? Adults, male, female, and children. Okay? And so my thing is this. If you practice in polygamy, I didn't did a thousand videos on this shit. I didn't say what I think about this shit. I didn't say why I want to do this shit. You need to be getting to the bag, dog. If you want to get some pussy, nigga, get single. I'm going to tell y'all right now, if you want to get, nigga, if you want to have as much sex as you can, just be single and go have hella sex. Polygamy is not meant to be having hella sex. It's meant to be getting to the bag at a higher value, okay? And fucking with people that you can trust to carry on your legacy, etc., okay? So, that nigga was using a, a, a righteous format in an ancient relationship format that's meant for growing wealth. If this was the ancient times, wealth would be resources, land, military, etc., but this is modern times. So wealth is viewed in the form of fiat currency, real estate, etc. So he's taking an ancient form of, of relationship and the nigga is using it just to have sex. When it's like, nigga, you could be single and just have sex. So, uh, whatchamacallit, with that being said, now this nigga broke, okay? Now this nigga broke, okay? He's broke. Dumb hoes is broke. And he going to jail and he asking the same motherfuckers who he tried to make a living off to, to, to contact the same place that he been preaching is Babylon to come to his aid. Sound like some Farrakhan shit to me. The white man the devil until you get caught doing some fuck shit. Now he not the devil. Now he your friend. Come on, bro. 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 Y'all wildin'. I'm about to play this back. But I'm going to say that again. Because I got to keep saying this. The polygamy shit is about getting to the bag. It's not about trying to get a nut. It's not about trying to be a clown-ass nigga and be just having having sex with motherfuckers. If that's what y'all want to do, do that. But getting to, getting to the bag should be in there at the top of the list. It shouldn't be at the bottom, okay? Period. Period. You're not about to be in my face if you're not talking to me about wealth, for these kids and these and our grandkids that we are assuming we're gonna have. Don't be in this don't you can get the fuck away from me, okay? So, uh, whatchamacallit? Hopefully, you know, hopefully that seeps in y'all head. Hopefully that seeps in y'all mind, okay? Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's go. Accused, huh? Okay. Let's see what's going on with that. What you mean? What's going on with that? What you mean? Now let me give y'all some more criminal. Let me give y'all some more uh criminal tips one on one. When somebody called the police on you, you can request who called to make sure that it's to make sure that it's valid because you have to establish probable cause. Because the police could come to your house right now and knock on your door and say, yo, we got a call. 
that somebody was in here screaming, can we search your house? But what if they lying? But if you say yeah, then you get them probable cause to excuse, you know, the Fourth Amendment and invade your privacy. So you have a right to say who called, okay, and request that information. Ask me how I know. Because niggas used to trap out of houses and get police called. And sometimes the police will come and get nobody called. So the way you stop that is you say, okay, well, nigga, can you please provide the caller? And if they can't provide the caller and you catch them in the line, you say, fuck it. Now, I'm not saying that niggas should be doing that. I'm not giving niggas no game to be trying to battle law enforcement. If you're doing anything illegal, I advise you to stop. But the point I'm trying to make is, since I've been in this situation plenty of times, nigga, I know how this shit go. If a motherfucker come to my house talking about the neighbor's call and said I was touching some kids, bitch, show me the call. Show me the call. And while you showing me the call, I'm going to be on the phone with my attorney telling my attorney to go get in my neighbor's ass. Or else I'm really going to go to jail for fucking my neighbor up. So that being said, nigga, what you mean? Oh, we about to go see what this is about. You know what this is about. Nigga, you know. You know what you did, nigga. You know. You know. You know. And then and then people say, okay, Pharaoh, why are you so turned? Why are you so mad? Because it's, it is it is as as neutral and as rational as I have to try to be. I can't believe that a house full of adults sat around and watched the nigga abuse an infant, my nigga. And then the shit just hit me more deep because I just had a had a little baby girl. Nigga, I would knock your nigga, I would fucking nigga what? Nigga, I would try to do the most demonic shit I could do to you, nigga, just to just to set an example. I would try to do some nigga, I would try to do some wicked ass shit. I swear to God. I would think what's the most nigga, I would think of the most brutal horror movie I ever watched, and I would try that shit in real life. I would try to I would probably try some real life leather face, chop your face off and wear that shit. If I ever got that, nigga, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm different. Y'all, I'm different. I'm not, I'm not that, I don't play that. You touching kids. Nigga, what? Mine? What? Tell, nigga, I'm not Mr. Marquez. Don't touch mine. Because it's not what you ready, it's not. It's not what you ready for. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not, I'm not what you niggas is ready. I'm not. I don't give a fuck about no jail. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Do not. And nigga, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Get my shit. Get my shit ready. For sure. For sure. I'm going. I'm going. Touch mine. See what I'm going. I'm going, nigga. For sure. I'm going gladly too. I'm going. Kiss my ass. Kiss my. Sir, you got anything want to fuck off? I'm going. You did what? I don't play that, man. So I can't believe a house full of adults sat around and watched you abuse a little baby, my nigga. Fuck all that. I wouldn't give a fuck if the baby was white. Chinese fanny. Nigga, you don't abuse no kids, my nigga. Deal with these ignorant ass adults and all and politics and all of that with these corrupt you don't touch no motherfucking kids, my nigga. I don't go for what race, what nothing. I won't play that. Y'all niggas over there letting this nigga and then velvet. Like yo. That's your daughter. Like you spoke listen, if a nigga do something to their daughter, I expect the mother. To probably, I'm not even going to say it, but I expect the mother to get in your ass while you sleep. I expect it. I expect her to act like when she hear about it, don't even say nothing. Act, let the day go by normal. Let that nigga go to sleep. Take some baby oil, put it in the cup, put it in the microwave on five minutes. Let that shit get boiling hot and get that nigga a motherfucking a lava bath, as we call it. That nigga going to wake up a whole new nigga. Whole new face. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So... It's just like, how do you let this nigga touch your daughter? Like, where is your primordial instinct to protect your daughter? You let this nigga do what to your daughter? Bitch, I wouldn't, listen, I would have, if I was Mr. Marquez, I would have knocked that nigga the fucker. Man, listen, I would have ran in that nigga shit, and then I would have ran in her shit. I would have crushed, I would have crunched that nigga until... Whatever law enforcement show up, show up. And as soon as they would have showed up, I would have started crunching her ass right in front of their ass. Period. You're going to have to use the taser to stop this one. And nigga, it better work because I'm going to be so fired up. That shit might not even work. Straight up. I would have crunched that nigga. And then as soon as I would have synced him, 
I would have crunched her ass right in front of him. You let this nigga abuse my motherfucking girl. Y'all niggas is different, dog. I'm telling you, they build, they build in niggas different or something. They build in niggas different out there, and uh, they build y'all build in niggas different. I don't know, I don't know, dog. I ain't gonna speak. I don't. I know it's not me. That's all I can. All I can do is speak. I can't speak on no other man. I can't speak on what a nigga would do. All I know is if I ever, if my daughter grow up and she tell me a nigga bust her nose, that nigga better know. That nigga better know. I don't give a fuck who that nigga know. Who taught that? That nigga better be ready for when I come. And if I find out you you feeding semen to my motherfucking granddaughter, nigga, you about to get a nigga, you about to get some twelve gauge pump action right in your motherfucking chest cavity. <laughs> you about to get some motherfucking Nito Brown butt naked up the street action, nigga. You finna get this work. You going right on seeing that. So that being said, let me keep it moving. <laughs> Let me keep it moving. Let's go. And it's not true. That's crazy. They're forcibly accusing me right now. You see my daughter. I love my daughter. It, she, what they're saying is the neighbors said that I'm that I'm um, abusing my child or abusing the children. And I'm like, you wow. said that they seen me do that. That's why I have to go sign. Yeah, they said they seen me. The neighbors said that they seen me do that. How? How did, and then how would they know my name if they were the neighbors? So something funny is going on. How they don't know your name and you all over the internet? Motherfuckers know my name that I've never met. What are you talking about, bitch? What are you talking about? They said you. They described you. Police did their research on you. I'm pretty sure where the fuck you living is in your name. Nigga, they know it was you. Bitch, let's keep it moving. Here, something real funny is going on. So, here, here, hold the phone. I'm not, I'm not going nowhere without my wife and daughter. I just know that. I yes, you are. You got a passport? Yeah, I have it. Yeah, I have it. I'm just going to switch everything off from this bag to that bag. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. No, 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 no. Calm down. You're saying that the neighbors... Yeah, I'm not gonna have to strap you in. I think I'm gonna have to strap her in there because. 